Hi guys, it's Amber jumping on to talk about how to use Bitly to track how many engagements you're getting with your post, how many clicks you're getting on different links in your posts. Okay, super easy, free tool, it's awesome. And uh, so I have an example here for you about um, what it does and how you can use it, and then I'll show you how to set one up for yourself, okay? So a couple days ago, I did this one. Um, there was a really good video I wanted to post on my VIP page. Uh, it was uh, I wanted to share it from the Abby Anna page um, about five key pieces every woman should own in their wardrobe. So instead of just pasting the big long YouTube link, I went to Bitly and I created a shorter link just for me to make it trackable. So I this was the big long link from YouTube. And then down here in this line, this bit.ly, this is what I shortened it to, right? Five pieces every woman needs. I took that and put it on my VIP page. And and you can't actually even see it. It was just, it's, it's in there, it's embedded. Um, and now a few days later, I can go back onto bit.ly and say, oh, hey, seven people, it's right here, seven people clicked that video to watch it. Okay, and it even says here on April 19th is when all seven of those clicks happened. So then I can use this information in a whole bunch of different ways, right? I can say um, that's either a good amount of people, I'm happy with that, I'll keep posting videos, my audience likes it, or I'll say uh, that maybe it wasn't the right time, maybe that's not as many people as I would like clicking on a post, maybe I want more, maybe I should post at a different time, maybe I should post something totally different altogether, okay? So I can do what I want with this information now that I have it. So um, when you wanna do this, super easy, um, you just go to bit.ly, B-I-T, or actually you can just go to bit.ly, dot com b-i-t-l-y dot com all right and once you're in there it's a free account and you'll use this create button so let me give you an example right now i am i just made this post um i said who else gets a total kick out of the boomerang app if you do drop if you use it drop one below and i'm wearing the blue floral tunic and the bib necklace uh set so i want to add into this post a a link to each of these pieces that are still on the website. So if somebody happens to say, oh, hey, I like that top. Hmm, I wonder, you know, I wonder more about it. They can click really easily. So I'm going to open up each of the items in my shop. So here's the bib necklace in gold. And of course, it's also in silver and make my uh, get my link to this. OK, so I click on the Twitter button, that blue one, and then I'm going to copy just the website link. And I'm going to go to bit.ly. Okay. This big orange button, click create. And I'm going to paste that long URL into there. And then it will automatically shorten it for me. Okay. I could leave it like this. I could click this copy button up here. It's going to take this orange link up here or this customized one. It's going to take that and I, I can use that from there. Or I could customize it. So if, if people are going to be able to see it on, in my post, I might want to be more specific, like um, I'll just maybe I'll just call it necklace set. And these are case sensitive. So um, let's see, I'm gonna click enter, see if that's available. Okay, and if it's not available, it'll say this. This custom bit link is taken. Oops. So maybe I want to oops, click out of here and make it a little more specific, like Abby Anna necklace set. We'll see if that one's taken. Yep, that one is, that one works. It says bit link edited, and I can go up here, click copy. All right, so um, it is case sensitive. So if you wanted to like go type this address in somewhere, you would have to make the N capitalized and the S capitalized in order to get to this link. So just something to keep in mind. Not a big deal if you're just posting it somewhere like in a, um, on your web page. All right, so I copied it. I'm gonna go back over here go in and edit my post and I'll just add a quick little note you know like uh, scene you know scene here kind of thing scene here a bib necklace set paste that in you see how it's personalized there and then I'm also going to do the um, blue floral tunic underneath tunic. and I'll make a link for that one too 
And so then I go back in, let's see, is this, yep, here we go, blue floral tunic. This is in my account, my website. Find that link again. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> and then we're gonna do repeat the process. All right, and I, I don't need the whole thing, I just need the website link. Oops. Let me save that, copy. I'm just using control C to copy, but you can right click if you want. And then I'm gonna exit out of this old bit link. And so it frees me back up and go back to create, big orange button, paste it in, and automatically it makes it for me. So I'm gonna personalize this and I'm gonna call it blue floral oops, tunic. Click save and looks like that one was available. So let me use it. So I'm gonna say copy, bring it back on over here paste it in and then just click save all right and now i've got a link to each of my um of my items people can click directly in here and go straight to the necklace set page there and then when after a little bit i can come back in and see how many clicks each of those has gotten so maybe i'll notice like Whoa, a ton of people clicked on that jewelry link in particular. So like this metal, the second one down. If I see a ton of people are clicking on that, maybe I wanna like post jewelry more often. Maybe I've been neglecting that. Um, if I see a lot of people are commenting uh, or are um, clicking on the blue floral tunic, well, if there's a sale on that, well, I better be posting about that on this page because clearly my audience is interested in that. So you can use it a whole big variety of ways. Um, I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you've got other ideas about how we could use this Bitly tool for tracking, um, please drop them below and uh, we'll all help each other out. You guys are awesome. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.